Hey, so my name is Kara Marie. I did have a home birth. My baby is now a couple days over one. I did just post my home birth. Do you watch this video if you haven't already watched it? I would like you to go back and watch it if you do plan on having a home birth. Some people say like you shouldn't watch too many home births and I agree, but I also disagree because I'm the type of person that I like to see you know like what to expect even though all our bodies are different every birth is different i still need to know like what's going on so that's like one of the first tips that i'm gonna give you guys this video is going to be tips that i use to make my home birth a success and just smooth and so like uh my home birth was everything so one of the first tips i did was i did watch a lot of home births i won't say a lot a lot but like at least like 10 maybe maybe five or ten i know that's kind of a big jump but okay so i watched home births and it was two specific videos and i would tag them down below but i don't want to like you know talk down on someone else's birth so it's two videos that i watched one video the girl was like panicking she kept telling herself i can't i can't do this she kept telling her midwife i can't i just can't do this real tense up the environment just wasn't like peaceful it was like it just wasn't a vibe and it's nothing against her home birth if that works for her but it was like the process was so long it was so delayed it was just it was a lot of negativity in that video with this other girl the vibe was there like her environment was so peaceful music the lights were low in the other video the lights were like this like really bright her lights were low um she kept talking to herself like pouring into herself you got well i was saying you got this but in her video i can't remember exactly what she said but she was talking to herself like girl you 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 could do this like you was meant for this basically and that was something i picked up on her body language was very like loose and free and it is hard ladies to just be like loose when you having contractions people say contractions is like one of the worst feelings in the world and i feel like since i experienced experience that i'm talking from experience but i feel like mentally our bodies were made for this so it's like yes i was in pain but it's really just like period cramps times 10 like and yes they're uncomfortable but it's like this is the process to get closer to your baby when you look at it like that that's another tip tell yourself this is the process to get closer to my baby i'm gonna do whatever i need to do to get closer to my baby like your body was made to do this if you're able to get pregnant and have a baby and you can have it naturally like of course I know some circumstances are different like you have to have it at the hospital because of something like with your medical history but if you're able to have a baby at home you could do the contractions you don't need the epidural like if you want to get it cool but you don't need it like people came up with this stuff you know what i mean like look at animals they don't got options to get epidural oh, and i'm even weird i even watched like a horse birth in another it was just i be girl i be in so like i'm like girl like we really just sitting here talking but yeah i like to watch a lot of videos and that helped me see what i didn't want to do in my birth video i mean in my birth uh experience tell yourself this is each wave i didn't call my contractions contractions i called them waves each wave is to get me closer to my baby i had a sign up on my wall which is my third tip so i had affirmations all over the room where i was birthing my baby i planned on having a water birth but i couldn't because of something so i ended up having to have my baby just like right in front of my couch which was still cool didn't care but i had stuff like over my uh bathtub and then i had stuff on the couch as well just because i knew i wasn't gonna be in the bathtub the entire time but it worked out because i had it right in front of the couch so some of my affirmations was like each wave is bringing you closer to your baby well you'll see them if you watch the video it was like your body was made to do this like you know just things that's pouring into you just reminding you like girl you got this like you about to have a baby so um that's my third tip my fourth tip is to definitely bounce on that ball uh hypnobirthing hypnobirthing i listened to when i went to bed i also listened to it as i was in labor hypnobirthing basically like goes into your subconscious which is like the most important part of your brain because we could tell ourselves all day I think I'm going to be a millionaire. I think I'm going to have this baby effortlessly. I think, but it's like, if you don't truly feel it, your subconscious now. Your subconscious is what stops you from a lot of things or what brings you closer to a lot of things. So subconsciously, I knew you're having this baby at home. No epidural. You're going to do this. Like no matter what. I knew I was going to do this no matter what. So that would be the fourth tip. Listening to hypnobirthing. The fifth tip would be, um, that is 
maybe 80% mental and the other 20% is your body. And I say that because, and it all goes back to your subconscious mind. You have to truly believe that you can do this. And I, I wholeheartedly mean that. I know people always say that you got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in yourself, but your mind is so powerful, like so powerful to the point. It's like, it could kill you, like, for real. So you have to really believe in yourself and really believe that you were made to do this. And I know I keep saying that throughout the video, but that's that should have been the first tip. The, the very first tip should have been, like, it's 80% mental. Birthing is 80% mental because your body going to do what it already is going to do. Like, you ain't tell your body to make the baby. The, ba the body did it on its own. So with that being said, it also knows what to do when it's time to, you know, birth. But, um, again, you have to believe in yourself. So... Another tip would be that I, what's another tip? I should have wrote them down, but I'm trying to just go off the dome. If you look at my video, my birthing video, if you already watched it, just notice body language. Body language is very important. When you're having a contraction, do not tense up like, mm, I'm in so much pain, it hurts. This is when you want to be loose and go with the wave go with the contraction and i also made a lot of noise throughout my whole eight hours of birth all you heard me say was ah uh, because uh, i'm saying it with the wave with the contraction we're going to call them waves but just say uh, with it and sink into it that's what my midwife taught me sink into each contraction that helps so much and another tip is you have to have a great team. I could not have done my birth without everybody in that room. I need every single person in that room that had each thing to do. Whatever their job title was for that day, they killed it. I had one girl, each contraction I was having, she was like doing something on my butt, like my upper butt area, and that was helping so freaking much. Oh my gosh. Um... Then I had like my mom, she was recording, uh, my doula, she was like pushing my stomach up to help move my baby. Like literally everybody in that room, my midwife, she was always reminding me like, just be calm, just be calm. You don't have to be tense. Like you got this, your body was made for this. Just give you that extra push. Like it was just such a vibe in there. Like looking back, I really did that. Like I really did that. If you did not watch my birth video, please go back. And look at that. Oh, my God. My wig cap is showing. How embarrassing. Okay. Sorry. And I'm going to keep that in there, too, because, look, it's life. Oh, well. Just a sidebar. I do do wigs. So, if you are interested in getting a wig, I mean, I know my wig cap was just showing, but, look, the wig is still late. So, just a sidebar. I do do wigs. I'll leave my info below. But back to the baby talk. So, another tip would be, I said have a great team. Um, I said body language, um, music. If you plan on having music, kind of like pre-record the music because I didn't do that, but I did make sure that the music that I did play was like calming music or songs that I like that bring like positivity. That's a good tip. Um, move around. So I was so tired because I stayed up late the day before. Before my baby came, it was like, whoo crazy but before my baby came i was up i didn't think i was going to go into labor the next day and i did and i was extremely tired so i just wanted to lay down and my midwife was like baby you gotta move like she ain't moving you need to bring her lower so we can get her out so it took me like an hour to get some energy and i started walking and moving around while i'm having contractions y'all i'm probably like seven centimeters coochie opening and i'm just walking around the house up and down i mean of course i wasn't walking fast i was walking slow and again my doula was like lifting my stomach up but me walking and my doula doing that helped my baby move down so much faster so much faster um so move around and then another tip i would say is i don't know if this is allowed especially if you're in the hospital i don't know but i didn't really care to know how far i was dilated i didn't care because what i didn't want to happen was i was only four centimeters dilated and i'm thinking i'm like eight so it's like okay check me Woo! they check and you're like oh you're only five and you're like oh my god i got five more to go it kind of just makes you feel like i don't want to do the rest because i'm not gonna lie to you so I don't know if I put this part in my, my video, but it was one at one moment I was laying at the end of the bed, like on the little ledge part. Well, it wasn't really the bed. I don't know what you call that. I guess like an ottoman. 
I don't know what it's called. But I was laying on that and I was just thinking to myself, I don't know how much longer this is about to take, but I'm about to tap out. But I ain't tell nobody that, but that's how I felt. So right after that, they kept telling me to use the bathroom, which is another tip. Make sure you use the bathroom because that also can prevent your baby from coming down further. So I used the bathroom. I couldn't use the bathroom for some time. So I couldn't use the bathroom for some time. I kept trying to go, kept trying to go, couldn't use it. So finally, as soon as I sat on the toilet, water broke. So after that, she was like, do you want me to check? Like, I can if you want me to. So I was like, go ahead. So she checked and she was like, oh, it's time. You ain't say nothing but a word, baby. Let's go. It's time to push. So I was excited. So honestly, in my opinion, if I just had to do like a birth recap, and I know this is supposed to be tips for y'all, but now I feel like we're just having a conversation. But if I had to do a birth recap, I would say personally, pushing hurt worse than the contractions. Maybe because I tore, I had a third degree tear. So maybe I could use some tips on pushing, but it also was my first baby. Most people say like your first baby. Some people don't rip at all, but I know it is ways to prevent tearing and stuff like that. But um, I want to say the pushing was the hardest for me because it's like I really felt like I was pushing with all my might and it's like nothing was happening. Nothing was, I would think like, okay, this is going to be the one. She going to just slide on out. But that head... And just, it felt like, especially if your baby has a lot of hair, it was just like burning, like fire is just coming out of you. It just was not a good feeling. And I, I guess I felt like the contractions I prepared myself so much for, but it was the pushing. I did not. I did not. Um, but you'll never be too, too prepared. But if I just had to throw in my own like recap of my birth, I would say the pushing was harder than me or harder for me than the contractions. But I think those are all the tips that I have. I do recommend that you do watch my video. I do have a very positive birth um, video, so you have nothing to be discouraged about. I know some people will be like, oh my God, it was the worst experience. I have the worst contractions. No, I'm not an advocate for that. Um, and I know everybody's experiences are different. I could have another baby and I have a totally different experience. But for my first one, the one that I did experience, because again, I don't want you to think I'm just a girl just rambling no I this is me speaking from experience these are some tips that I actually used that I want to give to the next mother um even if you had a baby before and you want to just try doing it at home versus the hospital I think it's it's a great idea like you're comfortable in your home I also got to eat I don't know if they allow you to do that at the hospital it was a it was a lot of reasons why I didn't have my baby at the hospital no shame to the girls who do but I don't regret anything I did for my birth. So, hope this video helped with some tips. I hope this, you know, gave you some insight on what it is to have a home birth. And I'm wishing you all the success for your birth, whether that's at the hospital, at home, or at a birthing center. But again, the last thing I'm going to say is just believe that you can do it. Your body was made for this. Like, out of everything in life, this was the one thing your body was made to do, for sure. If you don't know anything else, know that for sure. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be back with another one. Mwah.